Well, hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we have, well, it's a lipstick video. So last year, when we had a foundation video, and I'll continue it into this year, we had confetti and we had party horns. So I think this year, which looks like, I, it might still be too early to call it, but we've had so many lipstick, genuine lipstick releases um, that I just came up with something else. So when we have a lipstick release, we can have, well, lips. <laughs> okay, and today's lipstick release has to do with Valentine's Day, could even be Lunar New Year. It is the Natasha Denona I Need a Rouge lip collection. As you know, Natasha Denona has done I Need a Nude. And now we have the continuation of that theme with I Need a Rouge. I have the entire collection here. It's not very big. So I got it all. We have warm and cool reds. We're gonna try them all on and we are going to swatch them in two different lights. Okay, so the I Need a Rouge Lip Stiletto is the main component, is the lipstick, and it comes in two shades, Gigi, which is a very warm shade, I'll show you in a moment, and Amelia, which is a cooler red that I'm actually wearing right now. The cool thing about these is the reason um, that they're called a stiletto is kind of like a stiletto heel. They are high up, easy to apply, um, and shaped uh, the right way. I want to say ergonomically, but I don't lipgonomically. Um, they're shaped so that they go onto the lip much easier than most red lipsticks. If you are a fan of red lipstick or dark lipstick, you'll know that the trouble with it is it can be a bit fussy to apply. And then when you think you've got it right, you smile and you've got lines showing, it can be a bit tricky. I'm going to show you some of my tricks that I use and talk about the different ways to apply um, in the demo. So definitely stick around for that. But Natasha Denona tried to help us out by the shape of the lipstick. Again, we're going to look at swatches in a moment. Then we have something I really want to talk to you about. And this is the I Need a Rouge Easy Glide Lip Pencil, um, whereas the I Need a Rouge Lip Stiletto, the main lipstick, is 27. Uh, the accompanying, accompanying pencil in the exact same shades is $24. And this one is going to fool a lot of people, kind of like the Victoria Beckham pencil does. Um, and I, it fools me myself whenever I first open one of her pencils. I always want to go, how does it go? Uh, it doesn't. It looks pretty plastic, but you do, please hear me, you do need to take a sharpener out and sharpen it. Of course, Natasha Denona recommends her sharpener. Why wouldn't she? Any sharpener does work. Um, you can put your recommendations for sharpeners below. I love the Charlotte sharpener and the Esom sharpener because they have lids and you can sharpen away and empty it later. I like that. Um, but you know, any old sharpener will work that fits the pencil. So just remember that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is look at some swatches in studio and outdoor lighting as I tried to get tried to get that pencil capped and not very well. All right, first of all, in studio lighting, on the left is the pencil will be the squiggy line and the lipstick will be the more firm straight line. We have Gigi on the left here in studio lighting. That is the warmer of the two shades. And then Amelia on the right, that's the cooler of the two. Again, the pencil is the squiggly line and the lip shade, the main lip shade, is the more pronounced straight line. But I really want you to be able to see the difference between the warm and the cool tone, one being more orange based and the cooler being more, what would you say, blue based, outside in the warm California sunshine. Take a look here and see what you think. Pencil is squiggly, lipstick is straight. Very, very, very pretty. So I am somebody who should wear more red. You know, it's funny, you guys. When I did the NARS powder review, I told you that I was either the perfect person to do a face powder review or the worst person to do a face powder review because I don't use a lot of face powder, but it made me kind of picky. Same here. Um, just as I look better with face powder, I look good in a red lipstick. I get compliments when I wear a red lipstick. I just don't bother to apply it. No matter what you do, darker, darker lipsticks and reds can be fussy. So I tend to avoid them, but because of that, I've developed some, some little tips and tricks that I am going to share right now in the demo. So stay right there. Okay, let's try these on. Natasha Denona assures us that they are very easy to use and quick and not so fussy like a normal red lipstick. But just in case, I have brought over two Sonia G Pencil Pro uh, brushes. 
that I like to use, and I'm a broken record at this point, but um, if you've seen any of my other lipstick videos, for darker lipsticks, especially reds, I do not like lip brushes. They are long, they are flimsy, I enjoy any, it doesn't have to be Sonia G, but that's what I brought over, I enjoy any densely packed, tight, um, eyeshadow brush especially, an eyeshadow pencil brush, because it really can get in there and push and coax the pigment into any little cracks and fix anything that can happen. Um, anyone who's put on red lipstick or dark lipstick before knows that you kind of go in with a finger and try to fix it. You can end up smearing it. And that to me is what becomes so frustrating. So I have those tools. If we'll need them, we'll see if we do. And we're gonna start first with the warmer of the two. This is the GG shade. Now, normally I would try on a lip liner separate entirely from a lipstick, but these are supposedly the exact same shade. So let's go ahead and give it a try. So what I have done here is a bit of a messy line. I'm assuming they're the same shade, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I lined up and inside rather than up and out. And I especially want to do that on the top. I'm going to go up and over and inside rather than out so that my mouth doesn't go Rrr. It kind of does that enough on its own. That's probably why I smile a lot. Okay, let's go. And of course, had I wanted to, that's very messy, not necessarily even, I know. Had I wanted to, I could have overlined a little bit over that area there. But it's the same shade of lipstick, so we don't have to be absolute perfectionists, which I will never be. All right, so that was Gigi in the pencil. And now let's try this stiletto bullet, which supposedly applies very easily. And this liner will kind of stop it from spreading. I could have filled in the lip with the liner, of course, as well but I figured I would just use it as a straight liner. All right, let's fill it in. Very quick and easy to do. Let's see if it's on my lip, on my teeth. No, it's not, but we do need our little bit of our pencil here because I have some messiness up here. See how beautifully that blends it in. Um, by the way, as you see now, my pencil brush is covered with lipstick. Comes out really easily when you gently wash your natural hair brushes. Doesn't have to be, again, any densely packed one will do. Okay, um, there's two schools of thought for applying red lipstick, okay? One is absolute perfection. When you see a makeup artist do it, when you see it on a model in a magazine, I mean, it is perfect to the lips. Then the other is the kind of Courtney Love, uh, kind of punk rock way to wear red, which is much more haphazard. And that is kind of my school of thought just because that is my basic philosophy in life, but also because I just think it might be a little bit cooler. Um, and so that is the way I kind of tend towards. My red lipstick will not be perfect. It also suits me. I don't enjoy that kind of super, super perfect look. But here is a very pretty red, done slightly haphazardly, but you know, I didn't want it to look like a child did it, so I used this instead. All right, now we're gonna take this off and try on our cooler Amelia shade. Stay okay, right if there. I look a little paler than I did before the application of the other shade, it is just that to take off a red lipstick is, as you know, quite uh, an ordeal, and I made sure to put on more foundation. I think a little bit of it got on the lips, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to we add a new pencil brush. I think I'm going to need it. And now we are going to do the exact same process to put on the more cooler toned Amelia shade. Let's go. Okay, same sloppy quick because it's the same color, um, but this time I overlined above the cupid's bow just a tad to make my skinny lips look a little bigger. I would love to get filler, but I am a big chicken, so you can tell me your stories down below. All right, I found this stiletto uh, application very comfy before. Let's try it again with the Amelia shade. The nice thing about overlining a little bit is it gives you a broader space in which to put the color and you don't have to pay as close of attention uh, to the cupid's bow. But as you can see, we do have a little bit of sloppiness. It's very punk rock, but maybe a bit to punk rock, so let's fix it with our clean pencil brush. And there we have it, still a little bit kind of sloppy, punky, um, but not as, you know, poorly applied as I could do it, trust me. 
I could. And I used both of these brushes as generally you'll have to do with the red. But I'm not finding that it's getting onto my lips. I think it looks very glamorous. It's extremely comfortable. Um, I'm filming this in the morning, so right here I'll let you know how long it lasts. It lasted and if it made it through a meal because I will go and actually eat breakfast wearing this so I'll let you know that and if I had to reapply and when so check that because I know that's important to people as we come out further from mask mandates and such uh, if you are a fan of red I like the fact that this collection has both a warm and a dark it feels very comfortable and definitely like it would stay in the lip and last a little more than some of the other shades we've been seeing like some of the cherry reds in the Laura Mercier or the Hourglass. This will last a little bit more, I can just tell by the formula. I do enjoy the pencils. Do remember that you can sharpen these pencils with a sharpener, that's important. And remember my little trick here. Let me know if you are a fan of red lipsticks. If you are, what is your favorite red lipstick? I think my absolute favorite is probably that Pat McGrath Famous Red. I do love that, but um, I don't wear reds often. I really don't, I must admit it. I like myself in red lipstick, I just don't wear it a lot. Do you wear red lipstick a lot? Some people can't leave the house without it on. So let me know your thoughts on reds in general and if you pick these up from Natasha Denona, are you planning to wear a bright red on Valentine's Day? That would be pretty. Let us know all of these things. That's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow. Come say a big hello over on TikTok and Instagram too. And please remember that you can support this channel by either becoming a member for extra perks or by giving super thanks, which so many of you have gratefully, thankfully done. But if nothing else, I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.